Lester. Hi. I, I, I watch you all the time, so it's nice to meet you. And I am addicted to Dateline, and many of my friends are. Why are we addicted to that horrifying show? You know, we, we talk about this a lot because, you know, people always want to talk. They'll stop me in an airport and go, about that Dateline, and they'll describe something, maybe a husband killing the wife or something. Can you be more specific? Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it, it, they're, they're sad shows, but they involve often people that you feel like you might know. Your next door neighbor, somebody you work with, these are normal people who were suddenly thrust into these incredible situations. So. Yeah. And some of the stories, I watched one the other. Do you watch them? Do you know if I say one? Have you watched them all? I, I watch a lot of them. Sometimes not them? in the same order that you do. Yeah. Necessarily. No. Well, you don't know what order I watch them in, so how would you know? <laughs> That's possible. But maybe they'll match up. Maybe. Mother God, did you watch that one? Mother God, that uh, aired on, on Friday. a recent Friday. Yeah, that was... I, I remember even that title when I, I did the announce on it. I said, do we have this right? Mother God. Yeah, yeah. that's what she called herself. I, I have some uh, titles here. I want to know if you have a favorite title. The Milkshake Murders, <laughs> Death and the Dentist, The Stripper and the Steelworker. That sounds like a porn film. Um, <laughs> the Bathtub Mystery, Devil's Bathtub. What is a favorite title of I yours? I think we have a number of bathtub uh, uh, titles. Uh, I'm trying to remember my, my favorite. I think it was uh, not my favorite, but uh, one of those stands. <laughs> Mother God. My favorite murder. Ma no, no, no. Mother God was certainly one of them. Yeah. Um, you've been married for 40 years, and uh, congratulations. That's an amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm close to 20 years, and I, I feel jealous when I hear, like, 40 years and, like, to be with somebody that long. It's a wonderful thing. It, it is a wonderful thing. And somebody once asked me, what's the secret to a successful marriage? In our case, it's laughter, learning to laugh at things and, yeah. you know, learning to let things roll. And, it's a, you know, it's a process. But 40 years is a long time. And it's amazing, though, even at 40 years, sometimes something will come out of my mouth. And the minute it comes out of my mouth, what are you, an idiot? Have you learned nothing in 40 years, you know, that, you know? <laughs> But well, clearly happens. she lets it go. She lets it go. Yeah. She laughs at it. Yeah. Well, your first date, if she gets past the first date, um, tell everybody what you did on your first date. I was a radio reporter in San Francisco, and I had this uh, car they gave me with personalized plates and had police scanners and fire radios in it. And uh, I had gotten a, a page back then and called in, and they said, we need you to go to a... Uh, uh, brush fire in the Napa Valley and cover it. I was like, well, I got a date tonight. So I picked her up at the, at the prescribed time and I said, hey, look, I, I, we can't go out so I have to go to this brush fire. And then I got creative and I said, you want to come? <laughs> and, and she said yes. At the time, she was a flight attendant, so she had several days off in a row. So off we went to the Napa Valley, not for wine tasting, but to cover a fire. Just, that's, that's somebody that can ride with you the whole way. That's like... And that really is kind of, you're right. Yeah. She's ridden with me the whole way. And now you have, you're, how many grandchildren do you have? I have three, three boys. The, the newest is only uh, uh, less than two months. Oh, wow. Uh, Sam. There's two of them. He's playing the guitar already. Yeah. That's very talented. That's, that's Sam and Henry. Yeah. That's a lot of energy to and have. And there's a new baby. There's James. Three, three boys. Yeah. Wow. That's, uh, and what do they call you? Uh, the, uh, well, the two that can talk uh, call me uh, Grand Dude. Um, my my daughter-in-law offered the choice when the first baby was coming along. She goes, you know, what do you guys want to be called? And I was like, I think Grand Dude. I like the sound of it. You know, it's, it's kind of implies, you know, age and wisdom, but also maybe just a little cool factor. Yeah, Grand Dude yeah. is good. Yeah. So. Well, you are cool because you're in a band. I mean, what is it like when people see Lester Holt up there on stage playing bass guitar? Well, I'm in a, I'm in a band, as you mentioned, uh, Rough Cuts. It's uh, made up of all NBC News people. Um, and some, and we'll, we'll uh, sometimes perform at this uh, Texas barbecue place in Manhattan. And a lot of people, you know, know our band is there. Other people just drop in. And you, after, they'll come up to you and go, I had no idea you played it. We thought we were arguing whether that was you up there. Um, so it's always fun to watch the surprise on their face. That's very cool that you play. I mean, you know, you're in this serious job, and then you get to, like, have express yourself in a creative way. But don't you, don't you feel like when you have a high-demand job that it's nice to have something else in your life? I, I, I really, I cherish those moments when I'm... You know, when I'm in musician mode, I am so far away from being, yeah. you know, anchorman. Yeah. Um, and it just, you know, it just, it just grounds you. Yeah, I'm looking to do something very, very serious so I can balance myself out. <laughs> because <laughs> that's what I need. Um, I, we have similar working out problems because you posted this. I'm going to show you with your dog okay. first because they really don't help the workout, do they? Oh, yes. So, yes, this would have uh, probably been during the lockdown. 
And I said, I'm not gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna work out at home. But um, guess who wanted to join in? Right. That's Lucy. He's, he's like, put that down. She's like, put that. <laughs> so that's, uh, and then I posted, this is me trying to work out. My dog, Augie, loves to be on my stomach. <laughs> I love he, it. He will not get off of my stomach as soon as I lay down. I love it. And he makes it so hard. <laughs> Those crunches become really difficult. He will they? not move. <laughs> I said I was trying to get rid of my pooch. That's what I po posted. <laughs> um, that was good. Uh, yes. That was good. Um, we're going to take a break. More with Lester after this. So we're back with Lester Holt. Um, it, it's amazing because you've been hosting the uh, nightly news six years? About six years now. Yeah. yeah. And you didn't think you were, you were doing weekends and suddenly you didn't think, you thought that was it. You weren't going to. Yeah, I was holding a lot of jobs. Uh, I was doing Dateline. I was doing Weekend Today, Weekend Nightly News. So I, I had a great life and I enjoyed what I did. And then the opportunity came to do nightly news. But I didn't really expect it. You hit a point where you think, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm where I should be, and I'm doing what I want to do. Um, but this has been a great opportunity. Yeah, and then you, you can go another plateau. It's amazing. I can go. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to start, uh, the sh again, you do this a couple times a year, but the show is going to go uh, on the road across country, right? Yeah, one of the things I like to do at, at Nightly News is take the show on the road, especially for big news events. Um, you know, news is not made in the studio. It's made out there, so we want to be there. Uh, but an extension of that is um, every once in a while we'll go on a Cross America tour and we'll fly to a different city uh, every night, um, you know, work with our affiliates, our partners uh, there, and also tell stories from that particular region. And it really, you know, to kind of tap into the diversity of thought and, and stories in the country. So we're, uh, we're heading off again. Yeah, well, that'll be fun. So it, it must be difficult because you're, you know, you're listening to these stories and, and every single night there's a lot of bad things that are happening in the world. And I know you always end with something that's it's hopeful, it's a positive, but what does give you hope? Well, you know, when, when you see people who are, you know, worrying about someone else and, you know, it's not about politics or, or culture, they're just, you know, human beings supporting each other. And we tell a lot of those stories and it reminds you that, you know, for all the, sometimes we'll put it at the end of the broadcast, and for all the you know, negativity that we've had to report for the, for the first part of the broadcast, kind of a touchstone, a reminder that there's an awful lot of good out there. And sometimes I'll just simply say that. There's a lot of good out there, and we have to recognize it because we get caught up in all the things that are going wrong or all our, the adversity. But, um, you know, people inherently are still good. Yep, there are a lot of good people. That's why we have to try to shine the light on, on the show and give those people a platform because a lot of those people really aren't seen, they just do it out of the goodness of their heart. Yeah, which so. makes it special in its own right. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, we got you something since you're going on the road. Yeah. You're in airports a lot, right? I am in airports a ton. He's gonna yeah. show you how it goes. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. I'm gonna speed through TSA pre-check like nobody's yeah. business in this. Can I, yeah. can I go for a Yeah, of it? course, it's yours. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> Put your feet on the little things on the side. Little feet on the side, okay. Yep. All right. All right, and then push that forward. Oh, yep. Wee. Yep. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nightly News with Lesser Holt airs weeknights at 6.30. Dateline airs Fridays at 9, both on NBC. We'll be back.